Now, from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, a client of mine read in a beauty magazine that she should bring her own tools and she should autoclave them at home for use after using them in her oven. Uh, I thought I'd get your scientific take on this. Well, here's what I think about this. Beauty magazines often give foolish advice that's not really based on all the facts, but instead based on the opinions of the authors. Oftentimes, not always, of course, but sometimes. Often the information is exaggerated. Now, if baking in an oven would sterilize the implements, why do hospitals and dentists spend all this money on autoclaves? Um, it's because an autoclave is nothing like an oven. If autoclaves just got very hot like ovens got hot, uh, they would not be nearly as efficient as they are. Autoclaves heat up the water inside the autoclave to create high pressure steam. This high pressure steam is what quickly and effectively sterilizes. Heat alone cannot match the efficiency of steam. So even if the client did heat them hot enough and for long enough, which isn't very likely, once the implements were removed from the oven, they would no longer be sterile. Now, nail professionals are required to clean and disinfect or sterilize before an implement can be used on a client. Now, that's even if the client brings their own implements. So never rely on a customer to do the job of ensuring implements have been rendered safe for use. If done improperly, the client could develop an infection and the salon could be held responsible and the infection could spread to other clients. Uh, clients may claim to have properly sterilized, but the salon has no way of verifying this. So the beauty magazine advice for consumers to use an oven at home is, in my opinion, foolish and risky, so I do not recommend this. Uh, I would not let also, and I would not let any client bring their own implements to a salon, as I've explained in other episodes. It's a responsibility of all nail technicians to properly clean and disinfect or sterilize all implements before they're used on a client. And this includes those brought to the salon by clients. Now, most clients will not want to wait while the implements are being properly disinfected or sterilized, nor will they want to pay for your time and your effort. So my advice would be just to refuse service to clients that insist on bringing their own tools or implements.